the next program that we write is a simple problem statement. Writing the program can be a bit tricky because it might introduce a new thing. So it's a simple problem statement. What is that? Three numbers to be inputted from the user. You have to print which is the minimum number. So write a program to input three numbers from the user and output the smallest of the three numbers. So uh, I repeat the problem statement once more. You have to write a program to check which number out of three inputted numbers from the user is the smallest. So the program will ask the user to input three numbers and after inputting three numbers the program will have to output the smallest of these three numbers. So this is the prog problem statement. I comment this out. So now I need to write this program. So let me analyze a little bit how to write this program. Firstly let us input ABC three numbers. Now what I have to do is I have to compare A with B. If A is lesser than B then I know out of A and B A is smaller. Then I will have to compare A with C. Out of A and C if A is smaller then I will have to input A. What I mean we output A that is I try to explain like this A, B and C these are the three numbers. Out of these three numbers I will have to firstly check A less than B. If it is true, then I will have to check if A is less than C. If so, I know that A is the smallest number. Check like this. I repeat. A, B, C are the three numbers. I compare A less than B. If A is less than B, then I will have to compare whether A is less than C. If so, then I know that A is the smallest number. Now, do you understand one thing while I write this thing? That means this automatically incorporates the if. If A is less than B, then I know that A is smaller amongst A and B. Out of A and B, A is smaller. So it enters this if block means that A is smaller amongst A and B. Then I will have to check whether A is less than C. Now does not that mean that you are again checking whether a is lesser than c within this if block that is if this is true that a is less than b then you will check that whether a is less than c is not so which does not it mean that within the if i will have to write another if very interesting this is called nested if so i put a bracket over here because I need many if many statements within A. Check out what? What did I do? I checked if A is less than B. This shows that I am comparing A with B. If it happens that A is less than B, then if it is true, then I am entering this block. And I enter this block means A is less than B. Then I will have to check whether A is less than C. If so, then I know A is the smallest number. So there is another if within this if which we call nested if. So if A is less than C, I know that A is the smallest number. I can easily print printf person D is smallest. And which one will replace this that person D? You know very well A will replace that person D. I want you to check this program part once more. If A is less than B, if A is less than B means if A is less than B, if it is true, then it enters this block. If it enters this block, then I will have to check whether A is less than C. If A is less than C, then only I know that A is the smallest number and you print that person D is smallest which is C. Achha, what if it goes to this else part? 
please understand this this else part is within this if block now this if block is entered only if a is less than b so over here i know that a is less than b no doubt about it but a less than c if it if it would have been true it would have entered this if block it did not enter this if block it is going to this else block here i enter means what i can print is definitely a is not lesser than c if a is lesser than c it would have been in this printf but a is not lesser than c so i am in this printf which means c is smaller than a but i have entered this outer if block means a is less than b now here it proves that i am here means c is less than a and a is less than b because i am here within this block i am within this block means a is less than b and i am within this else means c is less than a so c is less than a and a is less than b so who is the smallest c is the smallest i can very easily write that person d is smallest so who is that smallest c check once entering this block i am entering within this if means itself means a is less than b so a is less than mean b means b is not the smallest for sure b cannot be smallest if i am entering this block b b can never be the smallest so the smallest is either a or c so if a is less than c a is the smallest otherwise c is the smallest understand like this i repeat once more if a less than b i am entering this block means a is smaller b is bigger if b is bigger than a b can never be the smallest so a is smaller than b means b is bigger than a b can never be the smallest so who can be the smallest a can be the smallest or c can be the smallest now i check a with c if a is less than c definitely a is smallest however if c is less than a otherwise then c is the smallest so this part is done acha what if i enter this else block check out what if i enter this else block that means this if is false check out this if is small means small, false means only it means that i am entering this else block i am entering this else block means a less than b is false which means b is smaller than a if b is smaller than a then a is bigger than b if a is bigger than b a can never be the smallest so who is the small who is small either b or c so i enter this else block means either b is smallest or c is smallest a can never be the smallest this if a if a less than b is true it would have entered this block it did not enter this block it went to the else block means automatically that b is smaller than a so a is bigger than b which means a can never be the smallest who can be the smallest either b or c so who amongst b and c is the smallest let's check b with c if b less than c is true b is the smallest now so here i can print percent d is smallest so b less than c means b is the smallest otherwise if i don't enter this if i enter the else means that c is lesser than b so definitely c is the smallest print f person d is smallest which has to be taken by c so check out is not this the program this if this else part needs to be sorry this else needs to be closed you check out one thing here this if did not need any bracket because there was only one line this else also did not need any bracket because there is only one line within this else block similarly within this if block there is only one line no bracket needed within this else block no bracket needed only one line but this if contains some not one line some few lines within this so this needs a bracket this else has got few lines within it so this needs a bracket so if i run this code now then definitely i will be having the smallest number it will be printing the smallest number let's run all oh sorry before running i missed out i checked out one thing 
I did not declare this A B C. I have just written int. I have written A comma B comma C. I should be writing int A comma B comma C. I declare this three. I need to ask the values for A, B, and C. So printf enter the numbers colon slash n and this. I need to scan scan f person d person d person d. I need to scan the three numbers that is A, B, and C. Now I can check for these three numbers. I did this part first, just the declaration part I left out. These are simple things, so I can do it later. So I have done it now. So it is done. I can run this program. I will definitely get the result. Alt R, enter, enter three numbers: 34. 54, 44. Who is the smallest? 34. 34 is smallest. Write in any order, reverse order. 30, 54, 34, 44. 34 is smallest. Altar. 98, 107, 111, 29. Who is smallest? 29 is smallest. This will work for all cases. So I think you have understood this program. We can again take a bit of break before continuing with the next program. Thank you.